Welcome everyone to Momoka and Interplanetary Adventure. So this game is another 2D platformer for the App Store. And before I begin, let me go ahead and talk about this game for just a bit because there are some important things I must say. First of all, this game is another game that was heavily requested by many of you because, you know, a lot of you guys have been requesting basically iOS games and this is an iOS platformer. So I'm doing it because of that. It was requested by about five of you guys, so I decided to, you know what, let's do it. Yeah, let's do the game. I did play through it. It's a fun game, very Metroid-like style, Metroidvania, but eventually it gets frustrating. That's another thing that you guys mentioned, that this game is worth checking out, but in terms of beating it, oh my god, it's um something different, let's just say that. And yeah, there's no music here, by the way, which is awkward, but whatever. <laughs> but yeah, it's um it's very frustrating, so I'll just tell you right now. I have not beaten this game, and I don't think I will. I'm going to be doing a let's play of it, but I don't think I'm going to be able to beat the final boss or like go, go to the very end. Because there's a point, and if you play this game, I'll just mention the part right now. The mines. When you get to the mines, that place is so frustrating that you just cannot freaking beat it. Like, you just cannot do it. Oh my god, it is so ridiculous. I have yet to see a single video on YouTube that has passed that place. I go online to forums, it just does not work, like, I, people have problems getting past it, like, I don't know. There are so many people that have a huge issue with that part of this game, and it's just, it's insane. So let's begin this game. And yeah, this game is going to be one that I'm not going to be 100%ing. Again, it's all, it's a very casual, just for fun game. It's been requested for me to do, you know, I'm just doing it for that, but I don't know this game heavily enough to, um, be able to do everything about it, you know, 100% and beat it. So again, I will be reaching a certain point, and I will be mentioning that as we go. I'll be reaching a point, and eventually, well, you'll see. It'll just come to an abrupt ending. Anyway, this game, basically think of it as a 2D Super Mario Galaxy. That's pretty much how I see the game as. It does disorient you. If you have motion sickness or, like, big disorientation, be very careful. This game can make you sick. So, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure some of you guys are experiencing that already, if you are really, um, you know, like, if you have problems with that. Here's where it gets much worse, the disorientation and the motion sickness. Do you see that? But basically, it's Super Mario Galaxy, but 2D, and, and again, if you can't watch it, then well, you just can't watch it. If you have to turn your head away for a few seconds, then go ahead, or if you just can't watch this LP at all, not to worry, you know, I'm not gonna... I'm not going to be mad at you. I mean, you're free to watch whatever Let's Plays you want to watch, you know? Okay, so at the moment, I mean, yeah, our character is Momoka. But at the moment, we have to, well, I mean, the people are talking here, so there's not much to say. Look, we got to talk to you. Really? Okay. Nice. Could get along. Then let's go. These flags are our checkpoints. If you die, you will respawn right there. Oh my god, it lagged there for a bit. Sometimes it can be, uh, you know, like a little bit of slowdown, but it's fine. For the most part. Like I said, the game strongly resembles Metroid games or Castlevania, basically the whole genre called Metroidvania. It resembles that. And it's it is well made. It is. It's just that in the end, it, it's very questionable decisions, very questionable game design moments, and I don't know why they were like why they did that, the developers, because it was such a cool concept, but in the end they just ruined it. Which is pure frust frustration, you know? Like it's it's pretty insane. There's Momoka. A huge spider. Okay, okay, I'll get it. Not to worry. Where's the key, damn it? Where's the key? Village Green is up there. Harmory. Okay, I'm not gonna go that way. I'm gonna come up here. No, I should turn this TV. Yeah, by the way, it's uh, this game is compatible with an MFI controller. I'm currently using an MFI controller. And it works really well. Oh my god, that is huge disorientation. Did you see that? That's gonna make you guys really dizzy. It makes me dizzy too sometimes, so you know, you're, you're not alone, it's just that, I guess if you're playing the game, you have, like, a bit more control over it, because you kind of know where you're going to be moving to, so you're not as sick as somebody just watching the game. Okay, Armory Key, can I go that way? Yes, I can. Haruto Castle. Hmm, well, nothing over there. Guess I just gotta keep going this way. Wait, how do I go back? What the hell? How do I... Aren't I just walking circles here? No, wait, no, no, I'm not. Armory, right up here, let's go. We gotta save the dude, you know, from the spider. Man. 
Oh, okay, right there, I have to take a second away. God, man. Like, I have to just look away for a second. Okay, I can't go there. What the hell am I doing? I have to go to the left side because I have to free the dude. The dude. But yeah, uh, go ahead and leave a comment, guys. If you, um, if you have played this game and you know... Wait, what the hell? Oh, I gotta go this way? Yeah, if you have played this game and basically just tell me what you think of it, you know? A gun cell, okay, so we just got a gun. Now it's a real shooter, you know, not real Metroid game. Oh yeah. So this thing can be sh uh, shot pretty much infinitely, there's no ammo for it. Uh, you can't hold the button to keep shooting, you have to keep pressing it, that's basically the fastest fire rate of this gun. Alright, so let's see here. Hmm, up there is a little fuel cell, but... Or, I mean, fuel cell, really? Really? It's a star something. Yeah, here's a pause menu, by the way. The pause menu shows, well, there are four grenade pouches, 37 stars, seven hearts, and three of the, um... I forgot what they're called, like the Taiki something. Okay, okay, I'll rescue you. Not to worry. Gotta shoot. What the hell? You ran away. Reward for, for me? What could it be? Oh. Please have this frozen star. Why, thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. So let's go. We have to go to Haruto Castle. I like saying Haruto, but I think it's just like Haruto or whatever. But yeah, Haruto Castle. Okay, we gotta go that way. Back to the freaking armory because... Oh, sorry. Village Green. We're in the armory, technically. Because over here, there's actually a way to get to Haruto Castle. Right over here. That's the spaceport, which, uh, no, that's not the one. Village Market. Hmm, whatever. Screw that place. Here's a spider again. Damn it, spider. Alright, there we go. Gotta shoot. Whoa, it lagged there for a bit. Gotta jump, gotta jump. Ha, huh, did it. Oh my god. Big disorientation, big disorientation, people. It usually helps to just keep looking at Momoka when I'm turning like that. If you just keep looking at Momoka and nothing else, you don't really get as disoriented. If you look at other parts, it's gonna freaking kill you, man. Like, oh my god. Okay, I gotta go right here. Let's see. Oh, okay. I'll take this cannon. Boom! And I am in Haruto Castle. Hello there. Really? Okay, manifested with spiders. Let's do it. Let's explore. Okay, okay. I think all I have to do is just go down. I say, oh, 
Why did you wander off? Yeah, I guess that's a good question. Okay, we need to take it slowly and shoot. There we go, done. Let's head to Here. There's some hearts over there, but who cares? I'm at full health. Blow up that crate, and what's next? I mean, I don't know what's down there. Oh, I gotta blow that junk up. God damn it. There we go. You can just avoid that spider. Yeah, you know, I don't need to waste time shooting enemies that are not gonna be doing anything to me anyway, anyway so it's whatever, you know? Alright, go ahead and shoot this thing. Okay, those spiders are actually quite lethal. They actually jump when you shoot. So it's kind of hard to hit them initially, but if you just keep spamming shots, you'll get them eventually. So it, it's... What the... Yeah, so you just keep spamming, just keep spamming, you'll, you'll eventually get them. Ooh, that, that one actually avoided everything. What the... Um... There we go, got, got you, got you. Nice. Okay, please don't fail that jump though. Okay, there we go. Keep spamming. Whoa. Pretty good spiders, you know? Alright, there's a checkpoint. Spider's nest. Oh, Jesus. Okay, this one of that is actually uh, kind of tricky here. What you want to do is, um... You want to kill as many of these freaking jars as fast as you can. Oh, no. Oh, no. Kill the stuff. Okay. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, God, I can't go that way. I can't. Go. God. God damn it. No, you're not gonna kill me, you're not gonna kill me. Shoot, shoot, shoot! Okay, I'm good for now, good for a bit. Tell me damn spiders though, what the hell? Okay, I'm gonna wait for that one to freaking... There we go, oh my god, why did you send two spiders in a row, man? Okay, hurry up, hurry up, man. I don't think I was gonna get... Turn around! Okay, Momoka was refusing to cooperate right there. That was very strange, actually. God damn, let's kill me. Did that. Go ahead and grab that little heart. And let's see here. There's only two left, I believe. Maybe three? I don't remember to be exact. Oh god. Okay, that thing's down. I'm gonna jump this way. Kill that jar. There we go. Now this one. Let's grab these hearts. Because it could be very helpful. Oh, there's actually two that I left. What the hell? Okay, destroy that junk. And then this one. All right, we did it, and now it is time to simply come up here. Oh, whoops, gotta go from this side. 
All right, we're gonna kill the spider. This spider is actually really easy. If you just stand on the right side, just keep spamming your shots. He will never get you. Never, ever, ever. What the? Okay, I mean, you gotta jump high though. There we go. Checkpoint. That's pretty much it. So the next thing to do is to, um, I think we're done here actually, yeah, we are. Let's take this cannon. And this launches us back to, did it just say gift shop? Okay, where do I go next? Yeah, just gotta go that way, gotta keep going like that, and then. To this guy, he'll basically be saying that you know that there are um two brothers that just that just don't agree that they fight each other or something. So it's actually quite simple to you know unlock that heart. All you want to do is keep talking to these guys back and forth. Just keep walking around, you know, back and forth, and you'll eventually get it. Yeah, you know, I'm not even gonna read it because it's not even story related. It's just for a side quest. Your favorite pen. They're arguing about a pen? Are you seriously arguing about a pen? Like, that's insane, man. Yeah, okay, see? He's got the right idea. He says, all this for a pen? I mean, yes, you know? Definitely. Okay, something about replacing it or something. I don't know. I gotta go here. I couldn't find it anywhere on the planet. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Don't worry, people. This is not a waste of time. It actually does lead to the heart. And we need that heart. I mean, we don't need it, but, you know. It'll help us out greatly, I must say. He wants to meet. 3920 is... Okay, there we go. So, you have to talk to both brothers and get their code, even though you don't actually have to memorize the code. There we go. 3920, 8921. But, again, you don't need to memorize. There we go. Hearts for me, that's now four hearts. And if we go up there, we actually can't get it, as you can see, so that's a problem. But oh well, we will be going there, um... Later. Or maybe not, I don't know. I mean, sometimes I'll be backtracking, sometimes not. It just depends, really. It just depends. But this entire place is just for that heart. And the, um... The star that we actually cannot get at the moment. Alright, the next place to go to would be... I would say Kato Farm? Or Kato Farm? I don't know. This place. So many jumps, man. Alright, checkpoint. Very disorienting. A really bright torch, huh? You need a really bright torch. What about this over there? That's a bright torch. Too bad we can't get it, though. 
Okay, that one we actually can't get either, which does suck. There's another one down there, which we can't get. Oh my god. So many freaking things that we can't get. Okay, so I'm just running here like an idiot. I don't think I have to do anything here then. It's just for side quests, you know? For those stars, yep. But again, I'm showing this just so I can, you know, explore the area for you guys. Just so you are familiar with what I am going to be going through. Okay, the next...